What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 moveset guide. So, I just want to point out before we start, Walking Wake and Iron Leaves are not yet VGC legal, but we need to just, you know, take an initial look at them, and I want to give you a guide on how to build these Pokemon, generally speaking. This is sort of a moveset guide that you would see at the beginning of a generation before we've had an established metagame. But we do have some information on what's popular and what isn't to sort of figure out how these guys might fit into a metagame, depending on if they're legal before we allow the Runus Pokemon or after we allow the Runus Pokemon. Point is, they're not legal right now, but they will be down the road. So keep that in mind. But yeah. Before we get into that, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Answer my common question of the day, which is how would you run Walking Wake in VGC? So yeah, that's uh, today we're talking about Walking Wake. I mean, I probably am going to upload the Iron Leaves video today at around like 3 p.m., so keep that in mind. But I have three movesets here for you guys. These are going to be like pre-meta game where they're legal movesets, uh, but if you want to like start Theory crafting, this is how I would build them. So yeah. So Walking Wake is a water and dragon type Pokemon. Uh, it only has two weaknesses being, well, three if you count, you know, the fact that Iron Bundle exists and has freeze dry. But um, one of them is obviously freeze dry specifically, but uh, fairy and dragon. Those are the only two like normal weaknesses. It has some pretty impressive stats too. 99 HP, 91 defense and 83 special defense is actually fairly bulky. If I could compare it to anything, it's kind of similar to how Incinera's defensive uh, stats are, 95, 90, 90, except this one's like 99, 91, 83. Uh, so it's it's like a similar level of bulk, just with no Intimidate, so keep that uh, in mind as you're making these sets. Uh, it has the ability Protosynthesis, which means that if Sunny Day or a Booster Energy is activated, highest stat is 1.3 times or 1.5 of its speed, and it has the signature move called Hydro Steam, which is really, really interesting. Basically... Being a water type past paradox form is a contradiction. If you were any other Pokemon, you would not be able to like use your ability in any significant way without terastalizing. Uh, this is a workaround because Hydro Steam is actually a move that it doesn't say on Showdown yet, but um, it's boosted in water like a normal water move would be, but it has that same boost in sun uh, or in rain, my bad. In the rain, it has the 50% boost like normally, but in sun, it also has that boost. So it doesn't matter what the weather is, as long as it's not sandstorm, snow, or nothing, it's going to get that 50% boost. Uh, where normally, water moves in the sun would have a 50% decrease in power. This means it actually has a really cool niche as an anti-sun Pokemon, but also a Pokemon that just works on a sun team. Typically speaking, when you're using a water type on a sun team, you're sort of understanding that it's not going to be able to pull its weight in the way that other Pokemon might be able to, which is why like you'll see like Gastrodon, which is more of a support set. Or like at one point, I was actually running Utility Umbrella on my Palafin Hero on a sun team. Uh, because it just allowed me to get consistent damage, which, you know, it was it was not the best idea, but it also wasn't the worst. So yeah, uh, Walking Wake has that extremely awesome signature move that just doesn't care about it. Uh, but yeah, it, it means that it's going to be able to function on the Sun Team where other water Pokemon wouldn't be able to. The first moveset that I have for you guys is taking advantage of a speed boosting set. If you're unaware, if your Pokemon has equal uh, special attack and uh, special attack and speed, it's actually going to boost the attacking stat instead of the speed stat, uh, even if they're like the same. So I personally believe that Walking Wake is going to almost always going to want to go for that um, speed boost rather than the special attack boost with uh, Protosynthesis because it just benefits much more from the speed boost. If we look at the speed tiers this generation, it's going to be able to outspeed a lot of things. Non-booster energy Pokemon basically anything that's not booster energy, like you're going to outspeed Dragapult at plus one. Um, Obviously, Fluttermane will sometimes run speed uh, speed boost booster energy, and Iron Bundle will usually run speed boost booster energy. Uh, but we're gonna have to like just sort of accept that and like play around it, right? Beyond that, you're gonna outspeed a lot of things: Talonflame, Jolteon, Chen Pao if it's illegal around the time this comes out, Miascarada, uh, Roaring Moon. You're outspeeding all those guys. So with that, uh, I actually decided that the first move set I would make would be not like a booster energy set, but one that like you would run next to a Torkoal. So I highly recommend Torkoal with this guy, by the way. It's just like a generally good Pokemon for activating sun on this dude. Um, and yeah, you're going to outspeed everything. Uh, you're actually going to be investing 
a lot into special attack 244 that's just one lower than your speed stat so you'll be able to get that speed boost while not sacrificing much of the special attack and it is a fairly bulky pokemon so i just went with 444 across the board and an assault vest with this sort of spread and it's like a natural bulk you're actually going to be able to take things like fluttermane moonblast without terastalizing like you just eat that up right and then in return if you are in the sun um your terra water hydro steam will be doing 75 or 78 to 93 percent to flutter main so if it has like any chip on it it's basically going to drop to this move that's like super powerful um alternatively if you wanted to run terra fire which is another option you could also do that you're just not going to get an adaptability boost on it uh but it will allow you to resist the flutter main uh fairy type attacks so if we actually take a look at like the terra fire sets uh you know that moonblast is going to be basically bouncing off you defensively fire type is actually a really really great terra type and having this water move means that you're going to be able to stand up to Pokemon that would normally check fire types. If we actually take a look at that, like you're going to be able to hit Arcanine even though you're a fire type. You're just going to hit it for super effective damage. Uh, Golden Go is obviously prey for you, but um, where is it? Great Tusk. Like that's a big one. Great Tusk can't do anything to this Pokemon without speed control. If we look like, actually let's, let's look at like Assault Vest Great Tusk, which is like worst case scenario. Assault Vest Great Tusk in the sun, you know, it should be able to eat water moves like they're nothing because water moves are decreased in power by 50% uh, and it's got the assault vest on. But this guy actually can't take a Hydro Steam that well. 91 to 108%. It is a 50% chance to KO an assault vested Great Tusk. And if you decide to go for the Terra Water set instead of the Terra Fire set, it's just gone. Like it's, it just it just drops. Here, Terra Water. Terrestrialize. 122% minimum. That is like a really, really powerful calc. Uh, and being able to defend yourself as a fire type if you decide to go that route is just super good. So keep in mind that like the two Terra types I recommend for this are just going to be water or fire. And it's sort of interchangeable, but I go with water on this set because that's the set that I want to run right now. Uh, as far as Terra fire sets, I have a few. We have a Salt Vest one and we have a Boost Energy one. Obviously, if you want to run like a similar set, but instead of Boost Energy, you put like a, a Life Orb on it. Oh, what did I just do there? You put like a life orb on it you could hypothetically do that uh but i think that boost energy is going to be a pretty solid item on this guy if you're not going to run a torkoal on it so yeah this set is just straight up offensive it is 12 hp 244 special attack 252 speed if you want to you know boost your special attack be my guest i just don't think it's worth it uh but you could also run like this next to a torkoal with a life orb and you get a similar effect i actually think that isn't that bad actually if you want to run like life orb with this set like that's good too but you only do that if you have a torkoal on the team uh, right now, we're doing boost energy, assuming you don't have a Torkoal. Hydro Steam, Protect, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower. This is just the faster, frailer version of this. Uh, but you are running the Terra Fire set. So that means that if you were ever if you were ever to run into like a, a wa not a water type Pokemon, but like a, a grass type Pokemon, take for example, uh, Brute Bonnet, which would usually have a field day against water types. Uh, loaded Dice, just like regular Brute Bonnet versus this guy. Go for the Terra Fire. I can get the actual correct set. Walking Wake, Boost Energy Speed, Air Fire, Terrasalize. Your Flamethrower is doing 85 to 104%. And if you do decide to go for the Life Orb variant of this, then you're just like gonna one shot it. Like it's it just it just doesn't take it. Yeah. Flamethrower does a ton. Draco Meteor in the sun, you know, it, it's it's gonna have a speed boost on it, so you'll be able to Draco Meteor a lot of like super fast Pokemon. Uh, let's take a look at Iron Bundle. Non-speed booster Iron Bundle is a Pokemon you'll be able to outspeed pretty effectively. That Draco Meteor is just going to drop it. Your Flamethrower will just drop it. Uh, and also, the, I just want to point this out. The Terra Fire defensively into an Iron Bundle is actually really nice because Iron Bundle will usually want to go for the Freeze Dry one shot onto uh, Walking Wakes. Uh, but because you're going to go for Terra Fire on this set, even if you're playing Open Team Sheet, even if they know you have the option to Terra Fire, it's... It might not be worth it because they have to go for Hydro Pump in that case. And if you don't Terra Fire, it's times four resisted and they do like 13% to you. But if you do Terra Fire, they still have a chance to miss. So usually they'll just go for the Freeze Dry because I think it's kind of like safe. If that's the case, you know, just Flamethrower, one-shot them. <laughs> go for the Terra, go for the Terra Fire, Flamethrower, one-shot them. Uh, I don't even think you need Sun. Yeah, without Sun, you just KO them with the Life Orb. Uh, if you're already in like the Booster Energy set, where is it? Booster Energy. Terra Flamethrower still does like a decent amount, but Draco Meteor is going to be like your safer option. So yeah, or sorry, non-Terra Flamethrower still doing like 85%. So yeah, 
Uh, very solid set. I think that it pairs well into a few things. Like that speed boost is obviously great. Having the automatic speed boost without needing a Torkoal on the team means that you're not committing uh, nearly as much as you would to like a, a soft trick room team as you would if you did have the Torkoal. So, you know, you'll be able to outspeed Fluttermane. Uh, and that's like a big one that I want to take a look at here. Fluttermane. Let's just go with like the Sash set. Terrifier. Booster energy. Your Flamethrower. Not going to be doing as much as like you would hope it would. 66%. Uh, but that being said, Shadow Ball is a roll to two it KO you, and Moonblast does like nothing to you. So if they go for Moonblast, that turn one you tear a fire, go for a flamethrower into them, you do 66%. Then on the next turn, you outspeed them because, or you just like outspeed them, obviously. Um, and they're not going to be able to go for that follow-up Shadow Ball. Uh, they're never going to KO you, even if they do get the follow-up Shadow Ball, uh, and your flamethrower will KO them. So that's like big if you're facing like a, a faster Flutter main. So yeah, uh, it's, it's, I feel like this Pokemon is going to be one of the best Terra Pokemon because of like the mind games you can play with it because of that, basically just because it's like weak to some of the best Pokemon in the game, going for Terra Fire defensively is just like super nice into them. Final set, it's going to be a supportive Assault Vest set. I tend to just do like a fun throw it together and see what happens set for the last one. I don't think this is going to be like the correct way to run it by any means, but if you were to run a set like this, um, I would recommend you don't actually just do this. I would actually recommend you get a little bit more in depth with it. Maybe, you know, hit some kind of special defense and like put the rest, or hit some kind of special attack and then put the rest in like special defense and defense. Do something like this. You definitely want like max speed though for the protosynthesis boost. But because of how high speed this thing has, it actually has a number of support moves that could make it like really annoying to play against. Like I said, it's decently bulky and it's like super fast. So the Assault Vest paired with Snarl means that it's not going to get like KO'd by anything on the special side, and Breaking Swipe allows it to be really frustrating by lowering both opponents' attack stats. This is really good into a lot of like common Pokemon like Iron Hands, um, like Don Dozo actually lowering that thing's attack stats huge. Uh, King Gambit you don't want to do it to because obviously it is Defiant, but into Brute Bonnet, into Dragonite especially if it's not running Weakness Policy, like that's really good into it. Annihilate I wouldn't recommend, it's Defiant, it has uh, Rage Fist, Garchomp, um, Max Caliber, Tyranitar, Palafin especially is going to hate this. It's just like a really nice support move. You can also do something kind of crazy. It does get Mud Shot. <laughs> you could do like Assault Vest Mud Shot and just like lower things speed tiers. I don't think it's that great. I would prefer if this thing got Icy Wind, but unfortunately we're not in that uh, timeline. So you have to run Mud Shot if you want to do some kind of speed control with this thing. But yeah. Uh, if you want to do a physical set, I guess I could also throw that in. I highly recommend not doing a physical set, but it does actually have access to um, Dragon Dance. So you could do like Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw. Um, I would actually run Terra Blast instead of Fire Fang because I think Terra Blast is going to be a little bit more useful for you. But like Terra Blast and like Liquidation. Max Attack, Max Speed Jolly probably. Like I said, I don't recommend you actually do this, but if you were to run this, I'd say this is your best bet. If you want to do like a physical set, it could be kind of fun. Maybe even put like a, a life orb on it instead to make up for that just god awful, <laughs> god awful attack stat. Um, you could even like, you know, maybe lower this to the point where you get an attack boost. I don't know. It, it's kind of bad. It, it's kind of bad. Just, just don't do this. Just use like one of the first three, specifically the first two or some variation of them. But yeah, uh, that's my moveset guide for Walking Wake. Like I said, it's not like super specific. It's just like look, taking a look at things that are common in the metagame and how you might want to build a Walking Wake to go into those things. So if you guys enjoyed learning anything new or, you know, have an opinion on like the movesets that I have, make sure you comment down below, subscribe, do whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.